In this video, I will show you how to take this very ordinary Harbor Freight safe and turn it into an impregnable, impre really hard to break into safe. <clears throat> there are three ways that these are usually defeated. Number one is by bumping it. Number two is by pulling this, actually not even pulling this off, just taking a chisel to the front panel, shearing off the plastic, and then uh, shearing off the front of this key, and you just reach in and you're in. Third way <clears throat> is to reach in one of the holes in the back and go for the code reset button, which is placed right there. <clears throat> the first thing we're going to do is take this door off. Uh, so that's going to be this back panel, uh, this uh, front fascia, and for this video, although you would not have to do it, I'm going to go ahead and remove the door completely from the safe. So what we're going to do is pull, disconnect the keypad, pull the circuit board out. Ah, another thing which I always do with these safes is to desolder <clears throat> this beeper, this buzzer. This will drive you nuts. Every time you hit a keypad, a uh, number on the keypad, it beeps. That's not really what I want to have happen when I'm reaching for my gold bullion. All right, then the key is right here. We're going to take that off, and then we're going to uh, uh, grind all the paint off and I'm just going to weld a piece of angle iron over the front of that. It's going to do two things. One, it will keep um, somebody from shearing off the lock because there won't be a lock there. Secondly, it's going to keep somebody from coming in this huge slot that's right on the front of the, the door. All you have to do is, is pry this, this front panel off and you have access to this slot. If you have access to the slot, you just need something to reach in here just like a coat hanger reach in here, push down on the plunger, and you're in. It's ridiculous. So with a piece of iron, angle iron coming up and blocking that, it's going to uh, prevent the key access, and it's going to prevent <clears throat> somebody from just taking a hanger and moving in and getting into your safe in a few seconds. Okay, the welding is complete. And this is what it looks like. No more keyhole, and you can't get anything, I mean you'd really have to bend the wire uh, to, in order to get around this to uh, hit the plunger down, so I'm pretty comfortable with it. Now you may notice that hole and say, why is there a hole in your angle iron? Well, I will tell you. There is a hole in the angle iron because about um, a month after I installed this and did all this, I'd been using it every day, and it just stopped working. There was no low battery light. It just the 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 keys would um, would register a press, but nothing would happen. There was never any indication that it was going to open. It just died. So I had to because I had um, done these <laughs> things to make it harder to break into I had to break into it myself now I'm I'm okay with this uh, if it if it you know if somebody knows to drill a hole right there and uh, and bends it they, there's they've just spent 10 minutes and I feel like that's a victory for a, a $30 safe so I will weld that hole closed and put the cover back on it and uh, replace the circuit board and all will be well now these safes are designed so that if the battery dies, then you go get your key and you unlock it because you don't need the battery to use the key. Well, when this safe had died, my wife thought it was hilarious because I was locked out of my own safe all because she thought the battery had died, which turned out not to be the case, and I had um, taken care of that keyhole. So one more improvement is to solder on a wire to your battery pack. This is the battery compartment and I'm gonna solder, or I have soldered this wire on and I'm gonna run it out to the back of the safe and just have it uh, terminated um, 
just with uh, wire nuts or something on the end uh, because I will have battery voltage there. I don't want it to short out. But if the batteries were to go low, I can connect my power supply to that and get it back in business. I, as long as the low battery light works, I'm fine. I use it enough that it's not gonna not gonna be a problem. But it'll be cheap insurance. All right, I've removed the buzzer. It's gone. It's in the trash, and I've uh, put everything back in. I've got my plate. This will uh, this will be uh, anchored out of the way. <clears throat> and the last step in making this much much harder to get into is to use the common sense holes that are provided to anchor this thing down. Uh, they give you two holes in the back and two holes on the bottom. I drilled four holes, one in each corner on the bottom and lag bolted it down. Now when I did that and my my safe, my keypad just died on me, I tried all of the techniques. I tried bumping it and um, I thought it was kind of bump proof and that 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 convinced me. I, I spent a half an hour uh, you know hitting it with everything from uh, my foot to my fist to a uh, rubber mallet. It, it didn't it didn't bump at all. And uh, when it's not bumped down, it's very easy to bump it and pop it and you're in it in two seconds. So all right, that's it. I hope you liked the video. I hope we slowed down some bad guys. Have a good one.